Hey guys, we are back staying up our Football Manager 21 beta save, trying to keep Leeds United up in the Premier League, which we succeeded in year one, and we are back in year two right now. Yeah, how's it going there, Turtle? Uh, last episode, we saw Norwich and Burnley. If you missed that, please go check it out. Catch up to date on what's going on. We had a shack attack in the Burnley game, 2-1 to one win. Against West Brom, we had a 2-1 victory as well. Uh, goals from Helder Costa and Sebastian Wallakulitz. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to pronounce that. Tottenham, we fell behind 2-0, went ahead 3-2, and then gave up a late equalizer. Amin Guiri with a brace, Rodrigo with a goal from the wing. Those two are looking really good. And Guiri, yes, I'm so excited to have him. Man City, we got shut out 2-0. Then we beat West Brom 4-1. Uh, Diego Urente off the back line. Jack Harrison. Uh, Amin Guiri got on the score sheet again. And David Koanaki got on the score sheet as well. And then we were stunned 3-1 by Burnley in the Carabao Cup fourth round. Curtis Jones, the only goal you can see from the lineup. We went with our starting lineup. Uh, there was no reason that we should not have won that game. I take the blame for that because I took the tactic and I tweaked it a little bit and we got exposed. I made my wing backs attacking instead of support. And two of the three goals were through balls where my wing back was caught too far forward. So we have uh, reversed course on that, gone back to what we were doing. Taking a look at the uh, competition, we are currently mid-table in 10th place. Four wins, three draws, two losses, plus five goal differential, so that's better than last year. And 15 points from nine matches. So we're doing pretty well. I am happy with that. Way off the pace set by Arsenal, uh, who has yet to lose a game this year. And Liverpool, who now have two losses, one to us and one to Tottenham, who are in seventh position. So we're doing okay. Uh, if we take a look here, we don't really we don't have anybody in the leaderboard, which is all right. Uh, we do have four injuries. We'll take a look at the med center here real quick in a minute. But if we take a look at our goal scores. Uh, Guiri with 6 out of 11. He is doing really well. Uh, Koenaki with a pair. Urente, Shackleton, Rafinha also with a pair. Where is Rodrigo? Rodrigo's only got one. Seems like he's had more than that. I guess not. Only one in the Premier League, but he's playing well. So, uh, does he? Oh, he has two assists. Okay, maybe that's what it is. He's popping up on the assist list. I, I wonder, he's got a 12 in long shots. Rodrigo has a 13. I, I think we're better served with Rodrigo out wide. I was wondering if maybe we should put Rodrigo. The other thing we could do is I could move Rodrigo into the center. Maybe we try that this match. I don't know. We'll look at it here in a second. So uh, anyway, uh Med center, you can see Helder Costa, broken ankle. He's out for two more months. Mateus Click, broken ribs on international duty. He's out for six more weeks. Bamford, a double hernia on international duty, out three more weeks. Dominic Grief, one a few more days. He pulled a calf muscle. So some major injuries in there. But uh, we are, you know, the good thing is I feel that our squad depth is a lot better this year. So that's a good thing. Let's jump in to, looks like they're going to play a 4-3-3, very similar to us. Uh, let's go ahead and do our quick pick there. And then, where is Rodrigo? Is he out today? He is out, so he's low. Okay, so he's not ready to play today. Uh, Jones did a pretty good job last match, all things considered. I'm going to give Paveda a start out there. He's looked good the few times he's been in. And 
I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Carter Vickers a start. Urente is gonna move over to the left. So let's see, is that what I want to do? Oh, by the way, Tanali, remember him? The guy that we paid a bunch of money for, the young Italian, paid twenty-four million. Uh, we got to the uh, place to extend uh, to ask for a work permit again, and he got approved. So yes, that is good news. So he is in. Luckily, he's under twenty-one, doesn't have to be registered, so he is in the squad. And if we take a look at his form report, he's been playing pretty well he had two assists against west brom and he's been playing okay so off to a solid start as he's ramping up into speed 6.93 average rating nothing wrong with that so that is uh some news that uh, i was glad to see and that just makes our bench stronger so phillips phillips is out with that injury i believe no 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 he's just he's he's just uh high risk of injury and he's tired so that's that's why he's out today couple of matches in short succession so that is what's going on there and let's get to it all right first highlight it's Rafinha lining up for the set piece oh he was going at the post I don't think he would have scored that. I think it would have been wide of the mark. But Pickford knocks it out for a corner. So that's good. Oh, there was a nice shot. Oh. We've we've seen quite a few. Oh, taken down in the box. Sessignon draws the penalty off of Digne. And I don't know if there's going to be a card. VAR's checking it. That's got to be a penalty. It is. Looks like Rafinha is going to take it. And uh, just as cool as the other side of the pillow, as Stuart Scott used to say. And we take a 1-0 lead on Everton in the 11th minute. Rafinha, his third goal of the season. That is a good mark for us. Let's, uh, let's give a shout encourage no nope, they didn't like that didn't like that in the least all right silva takes the throw it's a air ball guiri and <laughs> guiri volleys it in off the off the air ball and that's his seventh of the season that was just weird Oh, oh, he deflected it off of Godfrey, it looked like. Do they give it? I think it was going to go in anyway. 2-0, the goal differential now puts us into seventh position. And we have an Everton highlight here. I did download a skin. It's the, um, oh, crap. Calvert Lewin, yeah, he he's doing pretty good in real life, isn't he? That's his fourth of the season. Meslier, ugh, that's not good, not good at all. But it's a uh, it's a skin that I like to look at and test every year, and uh, it's looking like it's pretty good i think there's a few things he'll need to tweak uh some uh some numbers showing up probably just a, a font coloration thing i don't know but uh anyway phrase no nope. pump fist there you go we'll do that carter vickers is uh motivated nobody else seems to really care and just taking a look here six eight seven everybody seems to be playing well I'm wondering the uh the goalkeeper we just looked at him coming back from injury the one that we paid a good bit of money for I honestly expected him to be there's a good save I expected him to be our starter but he has looked shit 
in the in his in his appearances and he got called up for international duty because he is an international keeper and dude he was playing like he was playing really low like six three ratings on international duty as well an inch perfect tackle i don't know what that means but meslier comes out and corrals that one let's uh let's take a look at the squad here Rafinha, I hate subbing him off, my goodness. But I think we're going to bring Harrison on, and then let's switch those guys. Harrison's more of a left wing. We'll put Paveda on the right. Paveda is playing a 6'8", so he's playing well. Anybody else? Let's, um, uh, hmm. No, I think that's it. I think that's all we're going to do right now. Had to think about it there for a minute. Nice ball out to Rafinha. Now, this will be his last opportunity. Over to Paveda. And cleared out. Richardson does pick up the ball. Beats the defender. Oh, no! Awobi, his first of the season, and we get ripped open at the back end. Oh, that was not good. Not good. Yes, and we want to give a shout of demand more. They've got some guys that are starting to starting to drag here. All right, let's bring off Jones and Shackleton are looking rough. Jones, can I do it here? I can't. I can't do it there. Darn. All right, uh, Jones, we will bring on Forshaw. Do I really want to bring Koch on there? Is Can he play a Mazala? Not really. And he's more... How about Tenali? Tenali can move up. Tell you what, we'll make Tenali our deep line playmaker. We'll bring Koch on at defensive mid. That takes care of that. And Shackleton for Forshaw. Now Forshaw cannot, you know, he he can play Mazala, but not really. He's he's better as a deep line playmaker. Tenali. He can play Mazala very well, so let's switch those two guys. All right. And we'll do that. All right, Sessignon. He airballs it right into Pickford's hands. That's a weird throw ta uh, animation. I don't know that we've ever seen that before. All right, we pick up the ball. That's good. All right, out to Harrison. Reverses field over to Paveda. Laid off to Sessignon. There's a cross in, and Guiri. Oh, he was looking. Boy, he loves that little volley shot. Koch to the outside. Sessignon there again. Paveda! He gets his third of the season, and that puts us up 3-2. to two. And so we are going to pop into tactics here real quick. We're going to slow the pace down. And we are going to go balanced. Liking it. Nice ball in. Sessignon. Again, right to the keeper. I haven't changed anything on the, on the throw-ins or anything. So that's, you know... That's what we're seeing in vanilla. We'll just have to deal with that. Harrison, what a first touch. And he gets taken down in the box, and there's a call, and that could be a penalty. Are they going to go to VAR? Yeah, they are checking. It might have been a light penalty, but Harris, no penalty. Okay, so Harrison, Harrison did not get fouled. That's too bad. 
Okay, there's an interesting ball that went out to the defensive midfielder. Uh, Paveda, nice movement and control with that ball. Good space on that pass. Oh, look at the run by Paveda. And he takes a crack at it. Would have been a big goal. All right, Silva. Looks like he forced a corner. We came right back into that highlight. Harrison taking the corner, plays it short. No, Silva's taking too long. Silva is taking too long. And I'm, I guess I'm going to have to go in and look at these throw-ins. I mean, it's right to Pickford. They're all right to the same spot. I'll look at that after this at match, and we'll, we'll talk about it next episode. But, yeah, I'm just – that's a little weird. But we do hold on for the 3-2 win. Eight shots, all eight on target. You can't ask for more than that. A 1.92 XG, three goals out of it. 89% passing, 50-50 possession. And Guiri gets on the score sheet again. Let's see. Well done, guys. So I'm going to put uh, outstretched arms. Good win. Motivates everybody. That's all good then. And that jumps us all the way up to fifth in the table on goal differential now. Still 18 points. There is a crowd. I mean, we've opened a 12-point gap on West Brom for relegation, which is good. But there's only one match separating 12th place from 4th place. One match. So that's uh, still early doors to get excited about too much of anything. Leeds steal narrow win. Leeds new Leeds boss on a spending spree. 20 games into RC's reign. And he has already spent the vast majority of his transfer budget, a figure thought to be around the 81 million mark. No fewer than 16 players, including the $24 million almost wasted acquisition of Sandro Tonali from Brescia. General positive reaction to the Gagan Press style as of late. Optimism for the future. Fifth in the table. All right, well, you know. Get on board, man. Get on board. All right, we'll be right back for Wolves here in just a second. All right, I really just wanted to sh show you guys what that skin was. So you notice the FM logo has changed to FM, uh, I think that's FM base, I believe. But everything else in there is still the same. Taking a look at the preferences, it is FM Scout, my bad. And who's the guy that does this? Wands, Wands a choat, I believe, something to that effect. But uh, anyway, uh, that is, uh, and it has the base skin, and it also has a dark skin that gets rid of all the purple. So, uh, you know, that's what I've used in years past to get rid of the purple. But yeah, we'll see how it goes this year. We're just, and and I just like to test his thing. It doesn't change anything else about the game. It's just a skin, so that's not gonna. Uh, do anything but I like to beta test his thing as well because like I said I've already picked up that there's one screen um, that I've seen it's the email that you get for the leaders of, of uh, player production for the international squads and only the first team showed the actual number all the rest it was dark so it's just uh, you know he has to just change that text color but uh, anyway, just part of the testing that I like to do in my beta save. And I do that every year with the, with the skin. So uh, don't let that trouble you. Uh, currently sitting in sixth position, a game in hand on a few teams above us. Two games in hand on Liverpool. Not that that's going to help us get caught up to that level. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's put Guiri up top. I'm going to go with Rodrigo in that central mid role, and let's put let's put Jack. Well, hold on. 
Cow and Nikki was there. I just I'm changing it just so I can look. All right, they both have a goal. Jones is playing just a touch better. aveda has got two goals and playing much better. You know what? Let's give Paveda the start. Let's give Paveda the start. Rafinha, Paveda's left-footed. They're both left-footed, so uh, Urente, Koch, Tenali, Phillips, Shacks. Let's take a look at Grief. I want to look at his form report. Light training, injured, unused sub. So it's not showing international matches either, but let's see. International, four matches, three allowed, six, six, eight. And then if we look at Meslier, 10 allowed in eight, three shutouts playing a 7.07. I, I don't think there's a I don't think there's a discussion to be made. I think Grief is a better looking goalkeeper by the numbers. His first touch is not good, but everything else from a keeper standpoint, his passing, I mean I don't know, man. I don't know. Do I want to change yeah, I'm gonna put him up to support just to see if that gives us anything going forward on the quick distribution. I don't want him way outside the box and we are playing a higher line, so good there. Rodrigo, we're going to move him. All right. So we're going to move we're going to move Rodrigo into that central mid instead of the attacking left wing. We'll let the coach give the call. And we are off. Wolves with a couple of early shots. All right. They get the first highlight. There's a header out. Oh, we're wearing the red camo kits. Oh, nice deflection by Dallas. Comes right back in. Stolen away by Shackleton. Oh, my God. And the first goal for Bacchusetis. I hope I was close on that name. Mm. That was unlucky. We had a couple of really good plays right there. I mean, Shackleton with the deflection. And then they just turned it, and our, our center backs had drifted too far off the mark. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. I'm going to drop back to balanced, and we're going to demand more. Come on, man. Come on. We're picking up shots. All right, we've got a little highlight here. Is it ours, though? That's the question. All right, nice ball out to Shackleton. He beats his man. Uh, loses it. Rafinha pounces on it. He's into the box. Back to Shackleton on the overlap. And they can't make the play in the box. Felipe Anderson on the counter. He is outside. Beats his man. Oh, there's a nice block. But offsides. Come on. Had to be offsides. I believe he was. Looks like they're going to VAR to confirm. I did see the flag by the linesman go up. Goal disallowed. Offsides. Very nice. Ooh, barely. Just a step in there by Urente. Beautiful step up. We, we taught that. All right. Uh, let's encourage... Weary is not having a good day. He's apprehensive. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I I like the words a little bit more because you can you can just read them at a glance and not have to interpret a picture and a small ass picture at that. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, we have the XG advantage. We've got shots, shots on target, possession. Um, I am going to be aggressive 
we owe Wolves after the last match. We'll go here, and then I want to go back up to positive. Just what I want to do. All right, a Wolves highlight. Can we turn it? Come on, come on. You just let him run. Oh, my God. Well, a good tackle. Luckily, it went out of bounds. Meslier might have, should have saved that. Might have, should have. But, oh. All right, another good tackle by Koch. We're not playing the trap. Hey, what, I'm going to drop our line a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, goodness. Connor Cody, first goal of the season. We're a little deep into the season to be conceding first goals. That's frustrating. Frustrating. Meslier is on a 6-5. He has not looked good today. Let's see if I can give him... Where's the individual shout? No, I thought you clicked on the player. Am I just not remembering? Oh, well. Rafinha. Oh, just over the bar. He was looking. Looks like the keeper got a finger on it, so we're going to take a corner from that. Phillips into the box. Headed down. Rodrigo picks it up. Oh, that's knocked away. We'll take the throw. And Shackleton. I just wanted to look at it because it was driving me crazy. All right, we hit it. goes right to their player, so that hasn't changed. Good tackle and possible penalty on Phillips. I don't think he did a lot there. No penalty. Okay, that's good. Comes back to Connor Cody. Looks like we've got a wall built up for the defense. All right, there's a good clearance, but nobody is there. All right, let's... Um, Stuart Dallas is not... So we're on a 6-4 with Paveda. So I'm going to bring Rodrigo up there. Veda for Jones. We'll bring him in there. Dallas is getting frustrated, so let's bring Silva on for him. Just, you know, don't want him getting a card at this point. So that'll be a sub at the next opportunity. They're matriculating it up the right line. Beats the defender. There's a block, but again, it bounces right to them. Unmarked. Oh, that was... That was unlucky. Bacasitas with his second goal of the match and his second goal of the season. So we ended up with a deflection. Who's that? Bounced off a of Koch right to Bacasitas. And replay, yeah, I said behind the goal, right? Like behind, behind the goal, not an aerial view. All right, well, there's our subs. Demand more. And another Wolves highlight. All right, well, that does come to us at least. Nice ball up into Rafinha. Guiri picks it up. Nice ball in. Oh, he can't make the run onto it. All right, we're going to try again. You know what? I'm going to raise it up to attacking. We're down 3 0 here, guys. This is not a good match. Shackleton. 
There's a cross, but it's too close to the keeper. Mm. Wide open. Oh, and he misses at the near post. I think he could have got it in there if he would have angled it right. Fire him up. There's a block right to their player. We're just, uh, oh, there's a nice little tackle. Of course, their player beats our entire team to it. Koch with the header back to Meslier, so that was good. It goes over his head, but Guiri was not ready to run onto it. Rafinha. Through to Guiri. He's got a chance. Oh, he put some pace on that ball, but the keeper knocks it away. Rodrigo's on a 6-2. Nobody has played well out there. Not on that left side today. I'm kind of regretting putting Rodrigo into that central mid. <coughs> I think we just have to... Jones played well in that central mid, so I think that's a guy that we can move into starting. Phillips, he hasn't played badly, but he's only had one out of four. And over here we had four out of seven, so almost a one in two, playing a seven plus. I think maybe we try, we try Tenali at that midfield position and move Phillips back to... Back to defensive mid, that holding midfield position. Not sure. Not sure. Something I'll be playing her with in uh, you know the next few matches. So we've got 15 days before our next match. But we will come back. I think we'll come back somewhere. Maybe Fulham and Fulham and the FA Cup third round. Right around New Year's. Christmas and New Year's, we'll come back for that. That'll give us a run of matches. So what I'm looking at, this is just the little spreadsheet I keep. So on the 24th, that's the new release, right? The full release. So that'll be the last episode of the beta save, beta beta. And so this is episode 10. So we've got four episodes left to culminate on that day. So if we go with that philosophy, this will be the last episode. We'll have one episode somewhere in this area. And then so let's say down in that area. And then that means two episodes between here and here. So one could come in Chelsea Everton, but we just saw Everton. So that's why I'm thinking Fulham and the FA Cup. And then, you know, somewhere in that Brentford Bournemouth, maybe. And then we'll come in uh, maybe Liverpool Arsenal and then the season finale. And that'll get us the four, you know, finishing up on the day of the full release. And that way I don't have to hurry to get an episode up that day because I have to do my plus 30 run and I can set that up and, and have everything running and get an episode recorded and out for the 25th to kick off the new series. So that's kind of the thought process. Well, the loss drops us back down to mid-table. But again, we're only one point off of Europe and one win from fourth place. You know, so we're not that far back uh, of catching Chelsea, if possible. But, you know... Taking a loss is not a good thing. So got some work to do to keep uh, keep going here. Hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to let me know what you think about uh, Tanetti coming in. Was that his name? Tanali, not Tanetti, Tanali. I think he's a really good looking player. Just to remind you his ratings and everything. Uh, I think he is going to do an awesome job for us. Two assists, one player of the match, 90% passing, a 695 rating. 
I, I don't think he has done anything but hit the ground running. So anyway, we'll see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.